Hi, my name is uh, Fausto Pinto. I'm the president-elect of the World Heart Federation, and uh, I will be talking a little bit about the risk factors for cardiovascular disease. As we, you know, we have identified several risk factors that we know are responsible for people to be developing cardiovascular disease, meaning disease of the heart or of the brain. And these are very simple. One is smoking. We know that smoking has a major impact on the development of cardiovascular disease and is responsible for the death of many people. So smoking is one of our targets to reduce the burden of cardiovascular disease. The other one is hypertension. Blood uh, pressure, when it's elevated, it will bring bad things to the vessels and to the heart. So to diagnose, to detect, and to treat Hypertension, meaning high blood pressure, is also one of the goals to reduce the chances of people getting cardiovascular disease. Diabetes is the other risk factor for cardiovascular disease. Diabetes, uh, which means uh, high blood sugar, uh, sugar in the, in the blood of the people, is also responsible for many problems and many diseases in the cardiovascular system. So to check the blood levels of sugar, it's important also to understand if there is any evidence that there is some sort of abnormality in the level of sugar, which can be responsible for many potential complications uh, in the cardiovascular system. The other one is high level of fat in the blood, cholesterol. We know that cholesterol, high cholesterol is also responsible for the development of disease in the vessels of the body, of the heart, of the brain. And it's one of the risk factors for the development of disease that can be very bad for the individual uh, person. Lack of exercise, increase in uh, body weight, not moving. So all these different things can be responsible for the development and uh, uh, the appearance of uh, diseases that can be very harmful for the person. It can bring heart attacks, it can uh, bring strokes, and people can be really damaged by this disease. So what we're trying to focus is on one hand to identify the problems, but on the other hand to stimulate a healthy lifestyle. So not smoking, having a good diet, having a exercise. If uh, a person has a high blood pressure to control the blood pressure, to control the diabetes, not smoking, all these recommendations some of them very simple, and they're all in the hands of uh, the people, it's very important to avoid the development of cardiovascular disease. Keep in mind that cardiovascular disease is the main cause of death and what we call also morbidity, which is basically people who don't die but who, who live with significant problems in all the world, including in Egypt. So to avoid the development of cardiovascular disease, we should focus on promoting healthy lifestyle and identifying problems that we know will be directly responsible for the development of cardiovascular disease. So many of these things are in your hands because a lot of the healthy lifestyles depend on what each one of us will do in our daily life. So it's up to you also to decide if you want to be healthy from a cardiovascular standpoint or if you want to have some serious problem in the future. So it's all of us together that can reach a level where cardiovascular disease will no longer be the number one cause of death and uh, morbidity. I hope this some of these advices can be useful for your daily life. Please take healthy lifestyles to have a healthy heart, to have a healthy brain. Thank you. Mm -hmm.